Suella Braverman, she's been giving quite a big speech today this time on policing. Uh, she's appealed to the police to return to common sense and focus on fighting crime. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, she's also said that there was a perception that some police officers are on the side of militant protesters. Um, John McTernan, I know you're going to start saying about police cuts and hiring and all the rest of it, and um, we shall come to that, I am sure. But in essence, about the way that the police are policing, do you think they've got their priorities right? Well, the police are utterly dreadful. There's no doubt about that. In, I mean, the Met employ rapists... What, all of them? The, the, the Met employ rapists, misogynists and murderers. Um, outside outside um, uh, London... You've struggled to find anybody who ever has a burglary investigated. You simply, you simply get a police, you know, here's a crime number, go and claim it on your insurance. Um, goodness knows what the police are doing. The numbers are down, but goodness knows what they're doing. They've not adapted to um, the pattern of what crime is. You know, this, they, they can't stop young people being stabbed. They can't stop uh, young women being sexually assaulted. And they can't stop um, middle-aged people... Uh, suffering from fraud and cybercrime in their homes. They clearly haven't adapted to the modern world. And the idea that the solution to more complex crime, more fraud-based crime and all these things, that the solution to that is to actually get stupider police officers on the beat, which is what Suella Bravman's policy is. Do you know, I, I do need is, to... It's cra crazy. Need we need to... a graduate profession for the 21st century. I need to pick you up on this. I don't agree with the graduate thing, and we'll come back to that. But when you talk about, oh, stupider people on the beat and all this, I actually find that very disrespectful because uh, to go into the police force in this day and age, uh, I think it takes an incredibly brave person uh, to get on the end of a 999 call, run towards danger, the kind of danger that most same-minded people would run 100 miles an hour the opposite direction from when you've got your own family, your own kids and all the rest of it. I think that those people are, in the main, uh, brave, decent uh, people. So when I hear you kind of tiring them all with this awful brush, calling them stupid and racist, and I found that quite offensive on behalf of anyone. And you might be watching, listening, are you a serving police officer or a former it's, police officer? What do you make to him? To drop the standard, she's saying people don't need a degree. I mean, that is ridiculous. And do, what are you telling There's me? Actually... That, are you telling me that you can only uh, have something about you? You can only be intelligent if you've got a degree. I think, but you shouldn't be encouraging people to leave school. You need to be staying Why? at school. People what about the many school, people that already have? I mean, it's just, there's about 35 people. I, I think that's very um, smacks of snobbery, I have to say. Sorry, I know well, you're keen to come in, but no, this whole all, notion of right. everyone's got to have a degree and you're not intelligent if you don't have a degree, I think that's ridiculous. Well, I, I suppose that was the, the kernel of what I was going to say, that a university qualification is not the sole thing that makes someone's uh, life worthwhile or mean that they've got something to contribute. Indeed, the police are seeking to attract many people mid-career. And on, on John's uh, perspective, unless he wants them to go back to university, for three years, having been in some other profession for a while, it seems to me you're stymieing their ability to be a practising police officer who may contribute something positive. I agree with some of John's assertions, though, for other reasons. It's not about the degree thing, which I think is pretty ridiculous. Uh, in the same, I don't think you need a degree to walk the beat any more than you need a degree necessarily to be uh, a nurse uh, in, in a hospital. Uh, I think that there's many other forms of training short of the academic qualification that is a degree that means people can do those jobs. I think there are things wrong with the police because of their structure, because of their disciplinary processes and because they've dropped other standards. Not the academic one, the fitness standards, which have basically been abandoned, which is why you see people waddling around like they're the paramilitary wing of the Guardian, That's festooned lovely. with lycra, their hands stuffed up in the vest like this, we've all uh, seen it. You know, stuff coming off them like they're about to go on some uh, geriatric equivalent of an SAS raid. Um, that's part of the problem with the police. The second part of the problem is that uh, the, the structure of the forces um, on our county uh, positions means we've got some tiny ones and some absolutely enormous ones. I love counties, but there's not actually a, a, a logical reason in the day and age to have that structure especially with all the overlapping leadership that it has. And the third problem is the office disciplinary uh, one, uh, which leads to a major cultural problem with the police. And it's not like this is new. Every time the warning sign comes out, the police say, lessons have been learned, it won't happen again. And invariably, it does.